I'm in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'm picking up a greens aerator, which has been a long time coming. Been wanting to get one of these for a while. It's right over there, I'm trying to figure out how to get it all loaded up. And I'm gonna put it in my truck. It's got these straps here. I'm gonna try to lift it up in there. two covers right here I need to put those on I took those off to make sure it runs it runs pretty decent it's definitely gonna need some love and attention cable I'm sure there's some broken stuff on it plenty of broken stuff but so there is no hour meter on this thing wish there was one but there's not I'm pretty sure that this is a 2002 Toro greens aerator so I'm not sure exactly which model it is or not i don't know if it's a pro core or not early pro core i don't know what's going on but they're the bead isn't set on these tires so I either gotta get new tires or reset the bead on the ram or put a tube in it or something i don't know right now it has the solid tines right there i mean this this looks pretty old and cracked but you know there's these are the tines there solid three six nine twelve so it looks like it does a pass it's about you know 25 inches or something across so that should make good easy work of what i'm trying to accomplish with it tires look decent it's probably been sitting outside for years and years the battery's no good as usual on an older machine always got to replace that so that's pretty pretty normal there there you can see the tire that's pretty nasty there so now it's the long drive back to my house i drove six hours to get this thing i hope it's not a flop that greens mower that i've got that toro 3100d same year that one was a mistake but at least this one i was able to drive and go get so this one it was a, quite a bit cheaper well not that much cheaper actually I just hope I don't have to put as much money and parts into this thing as I did the mower. But you shouldn't have to because this has a lot less um, hydraulic parts. There's a lot of hydraulic parts on that 3100D. But So now I'm just going to make the long drive home. It took me six hours to get out here, six hours to get back. Just basically came here for this and then I'm going straight home. All right, so I'm back with the aerator. I've got the aerator in the back of my truck here. And I've hooked it up to my... Um, my uh, truck here okay the nice thing about having this truck is i can i got the hydraulics all right guys so i got brian here he's like trying to hide hide from me so brian's helping me get the aerator out of the the back of the truck i'm back from cheyenne it took me forever to go get the thing and this thing's like 2,000 pounds it's really heavy maybe not 2,000, but it's flipping heavy you definitely wouldn't be able to lift it you're on your own or whatever so we use a skid steer to load this and i'm using this uh truck here this is my dumpster truck, um, but it's got this hydraulic hook on there and we lifted it up. It's off the ground here. We're gonna pull it out and get it out of there. So I got Bry here and he's gonna, I'm gonna pull out and he's gonna make sure it doesn't fall or whatever, but I, th I think it's okay there. Yeah. It's okay. So I'm just gonna pull out and we're gonna go from there. So that worked decently well. Now I'm wondering if we shouldn't just lower it down i don't i don't know that the strap's going to be uh long enough for that but we shall see if not we've all always got this to refer back to you know so let's see if it will uh lower down so i'm going to turn the truck on we'll see this is ne going to need some help here these tires are seen better days but we'll we'll get that all straightened out so there it is that's sweet getting it down onto the ground so the next thing will be to get the tires fixed and then I can wheel it over to my garage to do the once over. It's, uh, it's a 2002 model and it's fairly old. So it needs some love for sure. And that's my specialty. You know, I like to buy the junkiest of equipment and then try to make it work. Cause I actually like to tinker with crap, but 
I can't afford to buy this sucker brand new. That's a lot of flipping money. So that's a good deal there. I'm happy with that. You like that, Bry? Yeah, I got all my toes. Yeah, so no one got hurt, which is a plus. All right, well, he said it's a fixed asset and it's been depreciated. Uh, it's got a sticker right there on the city of Loveland, Colorado. So, so being depreciated, but do I get to depreciate it? How much did you pay? Oh, a don't. thousand. Yeah. Just because they did doesn't mean I can't, right? True. So I'm gonna. It's a write-off. I'm gonna write that sucker off, folks. So yeah, the the battery's all toast, and so I'd show you, and we'd start it up. Actually, we can. We could start it up. Let me move this blue truck. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Turn it on. I guess. So she needs some love and the car, good old carb clean, you know. It does run, but it needs uh, it needs love, and it, it kind of has to run half choke until it runs, warms up. But it does. Run. 